See so how break again? Okay, so see now. Here comes the guillotine. I lowered my head. Bang! Whoa, not good. Look at what I tried to get in here. I'm looking in and I'm throwing this high and hooking so that I can just lower my weight onto them. See how I'm on the inside of this thigh? Boom. And I can adjust, but I stay heavy. Yes. Guilty. So, if I get care here, just hang, try it for a second. Bush bull. Alright. See here. Yeah, see, I knew I pretty much have to move on from here. Boom. If he traps me and he drives, then he. Yes, this is how he wants to land. Sideways. Oh, even better. Look at how his shoulder is in my neck. Okay, this is doing me no good anymore. I have to be careful. Look how quickly he can pass yeah, into a shoulder show. So you see, with a good defense, a good answer, that predicament could turn into uh, what you just saw there very quickly. Uh -huh. Okay, now, the other thing I like to do for the guillotine, as it gets set in, it slipped here, booge. Can I slip my own wrap around his neck? and keep the momentum going in the way that I had to loop. As you can see, we both have head control, but was I able to get that momentum? Because now, I'm all right. I mean, it's not comfortable, but boy, am I in a pretty good position to crush, to crush as I deal with this, okay? So, careful with your opponents or your partners when you work with that. But I'm showing you that it has a very good self-defense application there. So, one more time. He's, uh, whoa, bang, whoa, bang. It's got to be fast. You have to respond <laughs> pretty quickly to stand a chance of having to loop them. And this is what the experienced fighter would do. He'd say, okay, that's gone. Let me see if I can neutralize this situation and keep it from getting worse. Okay? Know when to let go of what isn't working for you. Good job.